and we choose to go to Kennedy Space Center not because it's hard, it's because we're loving the real world. So the trip to Kennedy Space Center begins. We loaded up straps and headed out. Oh my goodness. First National Bank of Gainesville is almost gone. Times are changing. Anyway, made it over my brothers. We packed up a car, took the top down, and headed out to Florida. But first, what makes two big guys happy? Good old breakfast. It was really nice to spend some time with my brother on this trip. We just kind of sat back, relaxed, cruised right on down to Florida, made sure we didn't pay any attention to this guy on the side of the road, and made it to the hotel. No time at all. Yeah, the next morning was launch day, and this was what we're seeing on the way to Kennedy Space Center. Oh, isn't this pretty? Yep, this is when you say, we are loving the real world. We drove all this way. Maybe no launch. Who knows? Okay, great. We're three hours early. We should have no problems getting to the launch site in three hours. Should I don't see any problems. So we mask up, we get the scooter for my brother, and we go through this line. Yeah, this place is packed on launch day, so make sure you get there early. We had no time to see all this stuff. We just went straight to the bus. On the short bus ride over to the launch site, you'll notice the solar panels on the left, and you also will notice a huge eagle's nest right over there on the top of that tree. Then on the right-hand side, you'll see where they're housing the rockets and also where they maintain the rockets. We made it to the site with just 6 minutes and 23 seconds until the time of launch. Yeah, being three hours early was just the right amount of time. Not... Full flow of superchilled liquid oxygen on engine start. Dragon also began its startup sequence at T-minus 35 minutes when it coordinated timing with the Falcon 9. It's currently undergoing a set of vehicle challenges with its next major milestone happening just before liftoff when it'll transition to internal battery power. Now the range is standing by ready to... really cool to see that rocket take off and smell the rocket fuel come across the bay and it was just an experience I hadn't experienced before. For this day to start off rainy and cloudy, look at it now. Oh my goodness. Sure is beautiful. The launch went off great. Well we're headed back to the hotel and then we'll turn around tomorrow morning and head back to Kennedy Space Center. So we're headed back to Kennedy Space Center. If you notice on the right over there, right before we turned in, it's Blue Origin. The second day is totally different than launch day. The place is fairly empty to be a Friday. You would think it would be packed. I don't know. So we start off with the cars, the moon rovers. Oh, righty. Four-wheel drive, 
big electric batteries, dash cam, satellite. These cars were way ahead of their time. What do you think? NASA actually might have known what it was doing. Looking into the future, I guess. Oh well. Now this car looks like it has road class. Four wheel drive also. And it's electric. With multiple dash cams. And a satellite. What could you ask for? Wouldn't it be fun just to kind of take this for a cruise? When I was growing up, astronauts were a big thing. Everybody knew who Chuck Yeager was and Neil Armstrong. But this is the Astronaut Hall of Fame. I never knew there were so many astronauts. Do you know all these people? Who was your favorite astronaut? Leave some of the comments below. Okay, another question. What was the robot's name on Lost in Space? Leave it in the comments below. We really could use another day or so here, but we saw what we could and we had to go back the following day. We were making up for it in one big leap, and we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. Cause the mental skin of the rocket to expand and contract. Everyone was on that agree. It was as though the rocket was alive, breathing, swinging in the leash. And the last thing I had to do was touch the moon. I hatched the rock from the moon. Looks like we're headed home, but I don't think we're going anywhere fast. I hope you enjoyed this version of Loving the Real World, Kennedy Space Center. I hope you come back, visit us again. Please like, share, and subscribe. And click that little bell notification button. And check us out on lovingtherealworld.com. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.